morning my dear students how are you i am aisha fani is again here with you for teaching you computer subject uh, before starting new chapter i would like to congratulate all of you for being promoted to your next class i hope we all will work together and we all will do hard work for making this year more fruitful than before uh, thank you very much uh now let's start now let's come with me i am starting your new chapter that is chapter 8 cyber safety in this cyber safety today in my today's lecture we will discuss this topic first is internet next is advantages of internet disadvantages of internet and then we will come to cyber crimes and cyber crime we will discuss this topics topics today that is email spoofing and spamming email account hacking cyber trolls and the social engineering now our first topic is internet what is internet the line that is mentioned in your book that is internet is net of network what is the net of network it is also called by international networks when there is a combination of the computer when there are number of the computer they are attached with each other and they are communicating with each other we are passing the information from one computer to another computer then all the attached computers is known as they are under network that is it means their networking is created there so for example there are four computers 1 2 3 and 4 and four are attached with each other and they are passing their information with each other so this is known as the network similarly this is a another network when all the networks are attached with each other and they are used for sharing the information for passing the data for sharing the information and the data and the other files so that is known as a network that is known as the internet this is network because they are sharing the information this is also a network or jab hum in dono ko combine karte to it means that is called net of networks when when many networks are attached with each other and they are sharing their information with each other then it is known as the internet to hum bahut sare networks jab aapas mein attach ho jate hain aur ek dusre ke sath information ko share karte hain that is known as the internet that is also called the international network but what do you mean by the international network it means when the all the networks pure all over world mein jitne networks hain they all are connected with internet because we are passing their informations with each other with all over the computers with all over the networks so that is called internet and it is also called international networks because all of the, all over the world all the networks are attached with each other and they are sharing their information so this is the definition of the internet that is first it is also called net of network and second it is also called international network this is the main definition of the internet now now let's move to the next topic what are the advantages of the internet let's come with your next topic that is advantages of internet what are the various advantages of internet you already knows all that inter uh, advantages of it because in your daily life now in the last two years we have used so we have used our uh, internet we are using the internet all over the time uh, approximately 18 hours out of 24 hours we are using the internet because this digital india now it has become the digital india and last year due to the corona virus it's a completely digital india because all the students are studying through online they are using the internet services so you already knows the advantages of the internet but still we are discussing first is treasure of information what do you mean by treasure of information on the internet you can access any information you can search any topic related to your uh, related to your projects related to your research works related to your uh, school related to your ncert books related to your uh, topics in your books so we can search there is a treasure of information so much information is available on the net and you can access it 
at any time at any place uh, just with internet connectivity so first advantage is that it is a treasure of information second is web services there are various web services that we are using these days like email like video conferencing like whatsapp instant messaging there are so many services by which we can share our information with others so this is the main advantages of this uh, internet web services you can open any websites you can uh, shopping online all these uh, web services are available on the internet and that's it that is very beneficial for you to passing the information for sharing your data. Next is promoting the business. The in, with, with the internet services, we are promoting our businesses. We are giving so many ads. You can see so many advertisements of the products. Everybody is here to increase their business through online. In this corona time, many many businesses fall down, but due to this fall down, they have. Uh, they have advertised their products on the internet uh, on various websites and they also enhance, they also increase their selling also through this so many businesses app depending on the internet many e-business e are available so you can you can promote your business you can uh, add your product on the internet Next is e-learning. I think I need not to tell you what is e-learning. Now these days we all are learning through internet. This time you are watching my video and this is also an example of the e-learning. Uh, Google Classrooms is also an example of the e-learning. We are doing our, all of our studies. You are attending your virtual classes on the internet with the help of the Google Classroom. You are attending your various meetings through the Google Meet, through the Zoom services and you can also get the degree from from our outer country from other countries with the, with the online study also so this these are all the examples of the e-learning and this is all the advantages of the internet next is entertainment uh, we are also uh, getting the internet services and we are uh, we are getting so many with so many internet facility entertainment facilities on it so you can watch prime video you can watch you can take the pack of the prime video and the netflix and you can pass your free time with full of entertainment with full of enjoyment these all are the examples of the uh, advantages of the internet so i think that is clear to you now let's move to with these advantages there are some disadvantages of internet also let's come to the points that what are the disadvantages of the internet now these are disadvantages of internet everything which has some advantages it also has some disadvantages also everything everything has some pros and cons also like advantages there are disadvantages of internet also you all are very well aware of this but we will discuss it that is first is the violent pictures you can see there are some violent pictures that is available on the internet is really destroy the mental health of the students so i so some the facilities of some sites are banned by the government also and we should also keep track of the students that and our child also which type of the videos they are watching uh, for example we are using the google but one google is also made for child to search anything for the child they, they can use this search engine not a google that can be the tutor also because there is no any type of the violent pictures is available no any bad bad uh, videos and the bad things are available on the Google's. they can only search according to their age next is wastage of time everyone knows that we are uh, wasting much of the time we are wasting so much of the time in our daily routine on internet also for example we are using whatsapp just passing the information passing the jokes and social networking sites like facebook and music sites many uh, video sites their students are wasting their time they are getting fun of it but they are just wasting their time on it they are posting many videos they are posting many uh, posts on it that is of no use so we are just wasting of time also of our daily routine on internet also next virus and the spam attacks some virus and the spam attacks
sites when we open many websites when we opens our inboxes we opens our mails so some viruses are already attached with mails they comes into our computers and they also destroy our important data it's it's a really loss to our security also so uh, we should take care of it some viruses that should not be uh, that should not be allowed to enter in our pc so we should install antivirus software also next loss of personal information when we are searching various when we are opening various websites they ask for you to put some your personal details and generally you put on some personal details and they take their personal data of your banking account and also you should you should uh, we should keep in mind all these things that we should we should not open any unsafe websites also so these are some disadvantages of the internet so we have discussed what is internet and what are the advantages and the disadvantages of the internet now let's come with me for your next topic that is the cyber crime let's come for the next topic that is the cyber crimes you already have you all have listened many things about the cyber crimes that many persons have lost money due to some uh, due to some hackers and there are many cyber crimes you have listened so there are various type of the cyber crime first crime that is known as the email spoofing what is email spoofing you uh, you always get whenever you will open your email account then you will see that there are number of the mails in your inbox and all the mails you can't open and sometimes we generally open any mails and it it is attacked by the virus it attacks your pc with virus yeah it will demand for your personal information so these type of the mails that comes into into your inbox so you, you should always be uh then you should always you should always in particular to that email that in you know, that mails firstly you should see and then you should open that day. for example someone has sent you mail through customer support as tridentportal.com it is looking like that it's a genuine mail and you opened it but you should see that its spellings are correctly or not here is customer support at trident portal Here portal spelling is P O R T A L, but here its spelling is written P O R T A L. So it's a wrong spelling, and it may it may be a um, it may be a fraud mail. So you should not open it. Firstly, see and check the emails that who are sending you. Who is the sender of that emails? Firstly, you should check the address of that email, and after that, you should open it. That is some websites you are opening that starts from H T T P. We should not open it until and unless we are confident about it. Whenever it starts from H T T P S, S means there is secure websites. It will show you a log sign also. So whenever you are confident it's a secure website, then you should open it. Otherwise, it may lose your data into your PC. This is all about the email spoofing. We should. Keep our we should keep our password change time to time. You should see that the spellings are correctly or not. You should see that in the secure website or not. Firstly, you should uh, you should do all these things in key. You should keep all these things in your mind. Firstly, check all that things, and after that, you should open it. If any wrong mail account you have opened, then your data can be stolen. 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 लैपटॉप में जो डेटा है उसको डिस्ट्रॉय भी कर सकता है तो दिस टाइप ऑफ इमेल्स दैट कम्स इन योर इनबॉक्स दैट इज नोन एज द दिस टाइप ऑफ क्राइम्स दैट डिस्ट्रॉय योर डेटा एंड योर पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन दैट इज नोन एज द ईमेल स्पूफिंग एंड नेक्स्ट इज स्पैमिंग दैट इज नोन एज द व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्पूफिंग एंड द स्पैमिंग स्पूफिंग में तो ये हो गया आपको ये जेनुअन लगती है आप इसे ओपन कर लेते हो उस ईमेल को दैट इज और उससे आपका कुछ लॉस हो जाता है तो दैट इज नोन एज स्पूफिंग एंड व्हाट इज द स्पैम स्पैमिंग व्हेन नंबर ऑफ द ईमेल्स कम्स इनटू योर इनटू योर इनबॉक्स एंड व्हेन एवर यू ओपन इट एंड इट डिस्ट्रॉय योर डेटा इट टेक्स योर पर्सनल इंफॉर्मेशन इट डिस्ट्रॉय योर पर्सनल इट टेक्स योर पर्सनल क्रीडेंशियल एंड it may have some money from you from your bank account 
so that type of mail is come as the spamming emails number of the junk mails is spamming ah uh, there is one for example in your inbox whenever you will open your mail, mail account and you will see that there is one icon one is inbox and next is trash next is spam so you should not open all the mails that is comes into the spam if you will open one mail to aur bhi bahut sari mails aapke spam link ke andar aa jayegi aur it will destroy your data for example jaise ki aapko kabhi kabhi information aati hai you have won a lottery tickets and for getting that lottery money firstly give the information of your bank account and after that we will deposit that money into your account and you gives your bank accounts and as you give your bank account number your otp otp number then your all the money from your bank account that will be transferred from your account to that person's account so this is a big loss to you so these type of mails that comes and take your personal information that will bump there is the number of the junk mails that is the, that comes into the spam तो दैट इज नोन एज द स्पैम एंड दैट इज ई मेल स्पूफिंग जो लगती तो ऐसे है दैट इज जेनवन बट इट्स नॉट अ जेनवन एंड यू कैन बी अ विक्टम ऑफ इट सो दिस इज नोन एज द ई मेल स्पूफिंग एंड द स्पैम नेक्स्ट थर्ड इज फर्स्ट वॉज ई मेल स्पूफिंग एंड नेक्स्ट वॉज द स्पैमिंग एंड द थर्ड इज ई मेल अकाउंट हैकिंग सम पर्सन कम्स एंड सी दैट हाउ यू आर ओपनिंग योर laptop and they they try to uh they try to steal your passwords and your uh, your pattern which you have which you have installed on your pc for opening it or on your mobiles to open it they hack your email accounts or according to that agar wo aapka email account aur password aapka hack kar lete hain and they pass some bad mails to your friends ya other ones थ्रू योर नेम और आपका ई मेल अकाउंट और पासवर्ड लेकर आपका ई मेल ओपन करेंगे और उसके बाद आपके अकाउंट से दूसरों को गलत मैसेज भेजेंगे इट विल बी अ हार्म टू यू दिस टाइप ऑफ क्राइम इज नोन एज ई मेल अकाउंट हैकिंग सो यू शुड चेंज योर पासवर्ड टाइम टू टाइम जो भी आपका वाई फाई का पासवर्ड हो वो भी टाइम टू टाइम आपको चेंज करना चाहिए वट एवर यूर पासवर्ड ऑफ योर लैपटॉप ऑफ योर मोबाइल डेट शुड ऑल्सो चेंज रेगुलरली सिस्टम को अपडेट करना चाहिए सम वायरसेज एंड मार्वर अटैक ऑन योर सिस्टम डेट शुड भी अपडेटेड रेगुलरली यू शुड इंस्टॉल सम एंटी वायरस ऑल्सो next is cyber troll some person comes and trolling you on the internet for example whenever you are in a whatsapp group and in group someone is writing some bad words for you and they are and he is passing some rumors bad rumors about you that is very wrong rumors to so these type of you score up your mental level disturb karta hai that is known as the cyber trolling jo aapko internet par troll karta hai that is and disturbing your mental peace that is known as the cyber trolling next is the social engineering socially some persons comes in contact with you and try to know about what are your likes and dislikes and when and whenever he knows about likes and dislikes he sends you some messages according to likes and dislikes and at try to steal some of your personal information that will be very harmful for you in future so these type of crime is known as the social engineering crimes jo aapke sath personal socially active hogar aapke likes or dislike ko jante hain and after that they can harm to you next and last is your cyber bullying there is so many sites social networking sites which we are using for example whatsapp twitter and uh, facebook and on instagram and someone is posting uh someone is trying to posting some very bad words for you on this social media and he is uh, very bad things about you and it will be very harmful to you वो आपके लिए कुछ गलत इन्फॉर्मेशन सोशल मीडिया पर डालते हैं कुछ गलत चीज़ें पोस्ट करते हैं रिलेटेड टू योर पर्सनल लाइफ या रिलेटेड टू योर रिलेटेड टू योर प्रोफेशनल लाइफ तो दिस टाइप ऑफ बुलिंग दैट इज नोन एज द साइबर बुलिंग अगर इस तरह की कुछ बुलिंग होती है तो आपको सबसे पहले पुलिस स्टेशन में इन्फॉर्म करना चाहिए उनके साथ आपको अकाउंट अपना जो आपका अकाउंट है वो 
पब्लिक नहीं होना चाहिए दैट यू बी प्राइवेट टू योर ओनली फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो इसीलिए जो है वी आर मेकिंग सम अकाउंट ऑन द इंस्टाग्राम एंड द फेसबुक हम हर किसी को फॉलो अप नहीं करना चाहिए और वैन एवर समन इज एंड यू फ्रेंड रिक्वेस्ट विद दैट यू शुड नॉट दैट शुड नॉट बी एक्सेप्टेड बाई यू अंटिल एंड अनलेस यू नो डैट पर्सन तो बाई यूजिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स वी कैन सेव आवर अकाउंट एंड वी कैन सेव फ्रॉम वी कैन सेव आवर सेल्फ फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट क्राइज दिस ऑल अबाउट ऑल द क्राइज सो टूडे वी हैव डिस्कस द चैप्टर एट साइबर सेफ्टी अंडर दिस वी हैव डिस्कस वट इज इंटरनेट वट आर एडवांटेजेस एंड द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ द इंटरनेट एंड नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी डिस्कस दैट वॉज द साइबर क्राइज एंड साइबर क्राइम आई टेल यू वट इज ई मेल स्पूफिंग वट इज स्पैमिंग वट इज वट इज द ई मेल अकाउंट हैंगिंग वट इज साइबर बुलिंग एंड द साइबर ट्रोलिंग एंड द सोशल इंजीनियरिंग क्राइम्स सो प्लीज डू दिस प्लीज डू दिस पेजेस फ्रॉम योर बुक इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी problem in it now in my tomorrow period we will discuss it i will take your live session and in that session i will take your problems okay and queries till then thank you and have a nice day